Over the years, the Headwater School of Music and the Arts has become a staple in the Bemidji community, the arts community, and our Josh Peterson tonight introduces us to the school's new executive director. Since 1992, the Headwater School of Music and the Arts opened offering private music so lessons. The school has grown over the years, and while some things have changed, the mission of the school has not. Trisha Andrews was named executive director of the school back in April, and while she doesn't play any musical instruments herself, she knows the importance that the arts play in the community. So to have a chance to work with area artists and to develop that programming is right on my plate that I just get to dig into. So that's, that's uh, that creative part of the job for me that I'm, I'm not an artist and I'm not a musician, but I'm uh, happy to be part of that creative process of, cr of making those opportunities happen. One of the goals that Executive Director Tricia Andrews has set is to integrate more community involvement into the Headwaters School. Thinking about the future, um, there's uh, opportunities for for community involvement that uh, I've, I hear people say that it's a hidden gem, hidden gem here. How come more people don't know about it? The importance of community involvement is a shared vision, not only with the executive director, but also with the Headwater School's instructors. The more community uh, that we can kind of bring into the picture in that sense, I think it's going to be enriching for everybody within the process. Um, yeah, uh, the more, more the merrier. Growing and strengthening Bemidji's arts community for young and old. For Lakeland News, I'm Josh Peterson. The Headwaters School of Music and the Arts will be hosting a meet and greet tomorrow at the school from 4 until 6. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.